So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, and uh, a very warm welcome. And today we have again Pradeep Seth Sir in our studio, right? Uh, last time Pradeep Seth Sir has taken the Angular training, right? And uh, and we had a wonderful feedback. Sir, you have so much praise, like you know. And uh, I think that session we completed how many? Like some days back we have completed it, and it was I think approximately of how many hours? Ten. It's around. 10 hours, 13 hours, 10, 13 hours, hours, right? And the feedback was so wonderful that my angular training and his angular training, if you compare it, his angular training was taken up, right? So uh, with all that, uh, you know, demand which is coming from everyone, Pradeep sir is now taking the training on MVC using the new .NET 8 framework, right? And uh, this training we are starting on 9th of November, 9th of November 2024, and the duration, Pradeep sir, it is, it's here we can see it is. 12 13 hours but i think yes. it will go about it this. may extend based on the uh, definitely i'm going to cover a lot of different topics as uh, as a part of this training so it may extend yeah so can we go through the syllabus i can see a lot of things out yeah, here sure. yeah sure so uh, guys uh, we are we are going to definitely uh, .net 8 is in boom nowadays so we are going to talk about the architecture of .net 8 and uh, in that we are then going to cover asp.net specifically because uh, web is uh, something which we nowadays we use it right uh, so web, developing a website is something we use it so asp.net core we are going to talk uh, then understanding the routing mvc pattern then the html helpers and uh, the new thing which is added in .net is uh, tag helpers and then we'll also try to create our own custom help, tag helpers mm -hmm. and uh, partial views uh, the static and the dynamic now the dynamic partial views has been converted as a view components now we mm -hmm. call it as a view components okay. so we'll touch base on how the, how to develop this view components as well uh, then designing a form and uh, validation of the forms with the client side and the server side validations that is something we are going to touch base on it right yeah and then this different state management techniques i think we are talking about view data temp data and all exactly yeah, so yeah. it's a same a view data view bag and temp data session but only thing is that there is little change uh, because it's a dotnet core hmm. right is not a traditional dotnet framework is little change in that so we are going to touch base on that so one. those changes also i think we will take up yes, in we'll, the we'll, i'll be covering okay. that one and then we have definitely our favorite friend ef yep yeah so oh, this is a very popular orm tool nowadays in market so uh, entity framework core is some thing we are going to use it uh, i'm going to talk about the data modeling and uh, code first and uh, database first approach so right so uh, in database when you say database first is basically i'm talking about the reverse engineering which is called we call it as scaffolding okay so this reverse engineering is a new thing right i feel so it's, yeah, uh, it's, it's a similar but the way we don't have a edmx as such now Ah, like okay, we used it. to have in traditional dot it's always cluttered right it like exactly you know, exactly it, so it, it now was like a match box yes. <laughs> yeah okay so so in so here code first uh, the the commands of migration right yes. and the db first with scaffolding okay yes. right okay. so uh, i'm going to touch base on one of the architecture as well uh, clean architecture i'm going to talk on and then the very popular repository pattern is also been included as a part of this project so this all thing is going to be as a we are going to develop as a project project okay yes. yeah because but because you know our students love this project based training right yeah, it's yeah. totally a pro project based training i'm going to create a project and i'm going to show all the crud operations as well how we're going to use it we are going to include the dependency injection uh, which is very very important uh, so all those three types of dependency injection will be covered yes. with examples yes yeah. okay and then uh, we are, the very important is your middleware we are going to create our own custom middleware as well mm -hmm. uh, for this application mm -hmm. and then we have the authentication authorization this is the jwt token approach we'll yeah do. exactly so we'll we'll take mm -hmm. up on jwt uh, authentication and right. uh, one thing which i have not added here is definitely uh, we'll need to touch base on the web api, web API. Yep. Uh, how how do we create web api and how can we consume that web api in our applications that is also been covered as a part of this right and this is all going to happen saturday and sunday see the point of questpond is that you know uh, is that we understand that as seniors you guys are working hard right from monday to friday but that saturday and sunday one hour you should give give to yourself because what we feel is this market is becoming very competitive learning is like you know it's constant and we understand that you know from monday to friday you can't be there you know you are doing your work and so on but please 9 pm to 10 pm right i'm flashing on the screens right and the date also i flashed right please be online right and pradeep sir will be there right so we look forward pradeep yeah yes. sure yep Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.